In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Hallelujah. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Father, we thank you for the revelation of your word. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. We thank you specially for tomorrow. We return all the glory to you in Jesus' name. Today, September 6, 2022, we thank you for your mighty hand upon our lives. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. As we go into your word this morning, speak to every one of us and let your name be glorified. Lord, we thank you specially for the author of this Open Heaven devotional, Pastor E. Adeboe. We thank you for his life, his family, we thank you for your grace multiplied in his life. Please continue to be with him, continue to strengthen him. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning and God bless you. May the Lord Almighty continue to keep you, preserve you, strengthen your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, September 6, 2022, we'll be looking at the topic that says, Why do sinners flourish? Why do sinners flourish? And we'll be taking our Bible reading from the book of Psalm 37. Psalm 37, we we'll read from verse 1 to 11. Psalm 37, 1 to 11. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease not for anger, cease from anger and forsake the rot, and know thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the hurt, and yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the heart, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Wow. Wonderful scripture here. Psalm 37, 1 to 11, telling us of the destiny of the evildoer, of the wicked one. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Our memory verse today is Psalm 92, verse 7. Psalm 92, verse 7. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. It is that they shall be destroyed forever. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get wisdom from what is written in today's Open Heaven devotional. And as you open your heart to the Word of God, you will surely be blessed in Jesus' name. Our friend Lord said, many people keep wondering why sinners are flourishing, why believers, people that trust in the Lord, people that know the Lord, why they don't have enough. Well, one of the reasons why it is such is that the devil is preparing those sinners, the wicked one, to for slaughter as rams, even as we read in our memory verse today in Psalm 92 verse 7, is, it is because the devil is preparing them as rams for the slaughter. Always preparing people that at the end of the day, they will regret their lives. You will not regret your life in Jesus' name. What the devil does is to give something worth an amount of money, says $1 million to his victims, and then take something that money cannot buy from them. 
in my place, they say, he gives you one, it takes 10. He gives you $1 million, it takes $10 million from you. It begins to afflict your life. It begins to do things that at the end of the day, you regret. That's why never you go to the devil for any blessing. You remember what we learned yesterday? It is only the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and had no sorrow to hit. If you go to the devil, fine. Devil gives, but at the end of the day, it will give you what money cannot buy. It will give you what you will have sorrow, you will have pain and regret at the end of the day. So the $1 million seems to be a very much money, a big money. But when they compare it to what he took from you, you would begin to realize that he has stolen from you. You remember? His major assignment is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If you collect from the devil, he will corner you to steal from you. He will steal your joy. He will steal your health. He will steal your peace. You may be seeing $1 million on the table. You may be seeing all what you have used the money to buy, but you cannot enjoy it. It is only God that gives people the capability, the grace to enjoy wealth. So if you get it from God, you will enjoy it because it is from the Lord. If you get it from the devil, God will just be looking at you. At the end of the day, you will be in pain. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. He will steal from you what he did not even give. So you must be very, very careful. That is the mission statement of the devil as we have it in John 10, 10. Thus, when it appears as if a wicked person is prospering from his or her wickedness, don't envy their wealth. Don't envy. I've seen a lot. The Bible says in Jeremiah 17, 11, as Patrick brood over the eggs and does not hatch, so is he that gets riches in an unworthy way, in an unrighteous way. He said he will lose it in the midst of his day, and at the end of the day, he shall be a fool. I've seen in life, People getting money from the devil, from ways that are not right. They lose it in the midst of their years. May the Lord bless you as you take heed to this counsel in Jesus' name. Don't heavy the sinner. Don't heavy the worker of iniquity. The reason why the devil is prospering them is so he can destroy them forever. We saw it in Psalm 92. Verse 7, he said, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. In Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8, Ecclesiastes 7, 8, he said, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So when someone gets wealth, blessing, in quote, from the devil, he will only enjoy it for a while, and at the end of the day, being destroyed. The end of being destroyed. That's what the Bible says. And the scripture cannot be broken. So when that hand comes, you see the fellow preferring to let go of all the riches and embrace Christ. At that time, it might be too late. So if you get anything from the devil, what of when you need God? What will you do? Those things cannot preserve you. He said riches cannot deliver in the day of death. So it's better you get it from the Lord and the Lord will preserve it, preserve you, preserve everything that you engage with that money, and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So when you begin to see people that are running after the devil, don't follow them. When they are going into rituals, into all kinds of sin and iniquity, don't follow them, because the end of it is destruction. Be very, very careful. It only brings sorrow. You remember, Proverbs chapter 10, 22 says, the blessing of the Lord is what? It comes with blessing, peace, joy. It had no sorrow to hit. It had no sorrow to hit, no pain, no regret to hit. So be wise and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Such a person becomes sorrowful and all the money will mean nothing once the fellow realizes that he or she is heading for destruction. What money cannot buy will now begin to come upon them. They will go to the hospital. They say they are sick. The doctor will say, you are okay, you are perfect. They will have the money to spend on their health. They won't be able to do so because it is no longer a medical issue. It's now a demonic something. It's now devil attacking them. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. That is why 
Psalm 13, it's 37, 16. Psalm 37, 16 says, A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. Be content with what you have. The little that you have, the little you have, be content. Thank God for it. As I used to say, people don't know that they are blessed. You only have 1,000 1, rand in your pocket. You are not sick. You are fine. You can manage it. But if you want to go the way of the devil, you discover that that 1,000 will not be enough. You will be taking care of sickness. Devourer will be after you. A lot of things will be happening to you because you are not wise. At the end of the day, you will borrow to service sickness. You will borrow to do many things because you are not wise. May the wisdom of the Lord come upon you in the name of Jesus. A little that the righteous has is far better than the riches of many wicked. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. So it is better to have only a little and end up in heaven than to gain the whole world and lose your soul. Now we hear people selling their soul to the devil for fame, for wealth, for riches. Don't join them as a child of God. The little we have, godliness with contentment is great gain. Be okay with what you have. The Lord is able to increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. In any case, God said, his wish for you is that you prosper. Third John 2, be in good health, prosper in your soul, in every aspect of your life. That is the desire of God for your life. Don't go into sin because you want to prosper. Don't go into sin because you want to prosper. Don't allow the enemy to lure you into things that will ensnare your soul. Remember, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, he said, many that want to be rich, they have gone into all manner of what? Foolish things that have hindered and destroyed their souls. It has led them to all manner of sorrow and perdition. Don't follow the pathway of the devil. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. It had no sorrow to it. So don't envy sinner. Don't envy the wicked one. Don't envy the evildoers. No matter what they have, it cannot be sustained. Hold on to God. God is still in the business of prospering his people and he will prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. So God already has prosperity in store for you in the salvation package. Let me read Revelation chapter 5. Revelation chapter 5, and I read verse 12. It says, saying with a loud voice, what is the lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing? Yes. He received for us. What is the lamb that, was, that received all this for us? What is the lamb that received all this for us? That's Jesus Christ. So don't get manipulated wealth or riches that will not ensnare your soul. So you need to be holy. You need to be obedient. He said in Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 2, we considered that yesterday. He said, if you are keen diligently to his word, he will set you on high above the nations of the earth. He said, blessings will pursue and overtake you. That's what he says in Deuteronomy 28, verse 2. Blessing will pursue you, will overtake you. It's the kind of blessing that will be pursuing you to overtake you. That is the one that we want that is from the Lord. Not the one that wants to cut short your life. Not the one that wants to cut short your destiny. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The one that I want, the kind of blessing I want, is the one that will give me rest, that will give me peace. At the end of the day, I will still make heaven. Not the one that will take me away from the pathway of godliness and righteousness. May the Lord have mercy upon us if we have gone outside the plan of God for our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of prosperity that the wicked one cannot touch. The kind of prosperity that the enemy cannot reproach. That is the kind of blessing, the kind of prosperity I want. Don't envy sinners. Don't envy evil workers. They are prepared for the day of slaughter. Don't 
the word of God is forever settled. And the peace of the Lord will be upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The key point today is the devil prospers the wicked so as to destroy them later. The devil prospers the wicked so as to destroy them later. You are not the wicked. You are a righteous of you are, you are, you are a righteousness of God. You are a righteousness of God. You are not wicked. Hold on to the riches of the Lord. Hold on to the voice of the Lord. Hold on to the word of the Lord and prosper in the ways of the Lord. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Our hymn today is Hymn 2, Conqueror and Overcomers, Now Are We. May the Lord bless you as you hold on to the Lord. Trust him and he will give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory verse once again is Psalm 92 verse 7. Psalm 92 verse 7. When the wicked spring as the grass and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. It is that they shall be destroyed forever. May the Lord bless our heart today in Jesus' name. Today's topic says, why do sinners flourish? Why do sinners flourish? May you be blessed more and more in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, you have not even started the journey at all. The Lord will bless his people. The Lord will cause his face to shine upon his people, but not the wicked one. He turns his way away from the wicked one. Don't let him turn his way against you. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus and stand in the victory of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall we please pray? Father, we bless your holy name. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness upon our lives. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord, that which you have ordained for our lives, perfect in Jesus' name. Lord, as we wait on you to bless us, to prosper us, give us that grace to, to wait to the end in Jesus' name. May we not be distracted by the wealth of the wicked one, by the riches of the sinners in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So you alone be the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It is well with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen.